Hello everyone. Today's talk is going to be titled King Arthur's Cup. And there's a reason because we don't want to just see how our past was shaped and how man was comfortable at his own table. But we want to see that when we confront of our, confront our past, how much are we capable of confronting our sense of future or our sense of present and all of these dissolves you see that the story you have built on how you need to get out of where you are is actually dissolved in the present moment you first maintain this because now we want to elevate we want human beings to become navigators who can work with their imagination and bring new ideas we want to land ideas and so if there was an eye in the sky who could throw the cosmos into shape we don't want to have our eyes closed so begin recognizing that the concept that comes to you is actually moving you because your attention is going to different parts of the story. When you begin becoming sensitive to how you are even aware of thought, that experience alters you and you recognize that the access to your idea does not need to be as linear, as linear or in a sense as conditioned and molded as it was before. Even clay cups. <laughs> You, you throw it in water and after some time it will loosen up. And so you need to dissolve too because man when he confronts his form begins opening up to formless observance of his presence. And innately he's there and so as you open up to the simultaneous sense of being, sense of confronting many things, you begin to see that you are in a state where the treasure revealer has become the treasure and is seeing what that experience is and then bringing back to his more, let's say, more conscious solidified form. So we want to see that you're not just solid, you're not just liquid, you're not gas, you're simultaneously all of these, but so far man has, uh, a lot of people are just experiencing the solidified one. We want to liquefy and then show that in the innate knowing of where you are, you can bring experience. It's crazy when man realizes that he's been looking for knowledge his whole life, but his absolute being was the core of the presence of all the knowledge that he could shape. And so you wonder where your ideas come from and where the beginning numbers which you even gave a value to originated. And perhaps even words can't come this far. But you continue on in this cave. You go on and within your own silence you see that regardless of your idea, regardless of any presentation, you are here. And so the observance of any fluctuation of duality, of anything, of any experience, begins to observe itself in a more comfortable state. So when you see that your solidified body is nervous, is tangled, your observance na uh, navigates from your more liquef liquefied, let's say, bodies or awareness to then bring that knowing there. You communicate through yourself through life. And it's very crazy because man has developed through a sense of other. We're given two eyes, but we see that our truths are in one. And so no shape can capture a view when the view is not emanating from those shapes. In other words, you would see that if I just saw you and you never said anything to me, the value I would have of you would not be as much as if you explained clearly who you are and I would see a world behind your eyes. And so, when you see that you're going into this multidimensional self, sense of <sighs> communicating with yourself, you're confronting many ways of how your views are viewing themselves. And you're seeing many forms and at the end you, you can completely bring back your experience of your, let's say, liquefied body or that gas being state. Let's say the peak of collective consciousness where you see that from the peak you begin to actually walk down. And so there is no lesser being and there is no greater being when the world is always turning. 
when everything flips around the minute you look at it differently. And so perhaps life will throw you in conditions where you may feel like King Arthur. You may feel that you have everything and all that you know is comfortably manifest in the round table in which many different aspects of life are looking at you. You take the cup and you see at first it's empty and you wonder why you have an empty cup. <clears throat> but perhaps when you really go and try to bring water, you see where the source of it comes from. And I hope this is communicated well. <laughs> Your confrontation of your sense of emptiness will reevaluate or give you a new sense of everything you know. Once you take one relationship and go into the core of where it emanates from, you cannot ignore the experience you're having. So begin at first realizing that man's culture has not developed to acknowledge these liquid bodies or even these gas states linearly. So what you can do is you can be the intermediary who is not the problem or the answer but the constant progression. And so your state of being goes where, wow, I've been thinking of what I need to do all my life but damn, I should have just lived. And living men don't think about it because I'm too busy living. Your life will find a moment in which you are its clarity. For all empty cups can be refilled. Much blessings and namaste.